Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for uh, staying with us and uh, for our next presenter of the morning. Um, Mark Sherry and his, and his team have created an online e-commerce app called One Red Maple. Uh, full disclaimer, uh, Mark and I went to high school together uh, and he's based in North Bay and uh, is a local entrepreneur and has uh, uh, employs uh, uh, many people in North Bay and his industries and businesses um, have, uh, are quite successful. And uh, um, he's also entertained uh, families and, and groups by some of the games that he's helped create over the years, uh, board games that he's helped create over the years. But we're not going to chat about that today. That maybe as another session. Uh, so at this point, I'll introduce Mark from Red uh, Red one red maple uh, and I'll let him walk through this at Northern Ontario e-commerce app. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mac, and uh, thanks for everybody joining me. Hopefully they're doing a bit of construction upstairs and uh, it's not like they're right above me, but hopefully that uh, we can get through the presentation before we get too loud. Um, so one red maple came about about a year and a half ago. I was looking at, or two and a half years ago, I thought of the idea and I thought it's a huge idea. I'm not sure I want to do it. Um, and then I saw some of the, the issues associated with, um, with the, uh, with COVID and what happened to our small independent retailers. And so I thought of an, a way to, to help small retailers compete against uh, the larger corporations. A little bit about myself. I've, I've started nine companies since 2000. Here are some of them, uh, six successful, and three of these are still in the startup mode. One is Wonder Maple, one is an explosive company, and one is the game of Tripped. It's a new game. Uh, Max said about games before. I, I'm the creator of the game of things. Don't know if you've heard about it, but we've sold about four and a half million copies. And so of these companies, uh, four of them involved in IT or, or programming over the last number of years. And so what really, our mission is, is to look at how do we take the redistribute sales from large corporations back to independent retailers? And we thought, well, you know, they have a pretty good inventory system. Um, they're showing us exactly what they have in terms of products. What if we were just to match those products against local retailers and give the local retail option a shot? And so uh, we decided to come up with a name. The name was One Red Maple because we're kind of a uh, you know, uh, just an independent retailer is a tree, um, you know, kind of going up against the forest, which, you know, in our minds is Amazon or any other large uh, corporate retailer. And so that's how we started this. And so this is the current, or for the, since 2012, what has occurred in terms of revenue growth annually for e-commerce? And you can see the big spike that went up to about 34%. In, uh, in 2020 because of COVID, but this is still growth. So this is still 15% growth over and above what happened in 2020. So this is on uh, a really fast trajectory to um, in, a, in a huge growing industry. So the increase of 14.2% was meant $100 billion and uh, in just 2020, right? over 2020 and, and in 2020 amazon sales went up a hundred billion dollars in just that one year alone, to give you an idea and so we know that the, of the current situation 60 percent 66 percent of the top 10 u.s retailers for instance account for 66 percent of all the online sales and you can see amazon has a, a huge portion of that so here we talking about amazon but you, you can substitute any other company in there you want um, and, you know, we, do these companies behave in an ethical manner? I'm not so sure they do. Um, you know, it's one thing to be a large corporation, but it's another thing to be a large corporation and knocking off smaller companies and putting them out of business, uh, when they create products. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of angst against both them and Walmart and, and all the companies. And you've seen, you know, headlines like these over the years. And so we said, well, maybe there's a better way. Just hang on a second and drill upstairs. So maybe there's a better way. And, uh, and so what we did was we started to look at 
you know, what does it mean if we take a dollar away from Amazon or Walmart and redirect that locally? And we know um, in, in this scenario here that local retailers invest 130% more of their revenues than chains uh, and seven, 676% more than Amazon. So if you just keep that money locally, you're going to get a large increase in, uh, in just revenue and money being filtered through your town. Okay. And so New Orleans was an interesting study because it's roughly the size of Northern Ontario. And if they were to shift 10% of their spending from change to local businesses, it meant an additional 235 million per year for the local economy. And so we decided we wanted to create a level playing field. And then we said, imagine you could go to any site and we're kind of like the little angel that sits on your shoulder saying, hey, check out, maybe there's a local option. And so what we try to do is, for instance, when you're in Amazon shopping cart, looking at that you know, pair of Birkenstock shoes that you want, we search locally to see if we can find that same pair of Birkenstock shoes. And if we can, we give you a local option to purchase that product locally. And I'll show you how that works. So here we are on Amazon. We call this the intercept. And so we're looking at a product right here. And then we pop up over on this side, showing you where you can buy that product locally. And so you'll see right now, you can, you can buy that same product at Lefebvre's Source Reports in North Bay. If I click on this link, it takes me right to Lefebvre's, same price, same product, why would I not shop locally? And so that's basically what we've done. And we've done it in a number of different ways. So that's the intercept, but you can also just search locally and find products that you're looking for. So it's Friday night, you look for a hot sauce. You wanna go buy a hot sauce somewhere in North Bay. You just put it in hot sauce and it gives you the options for the hot sauces in North Bay and, and how far they are away from you. So you know exactly where to go to get the, the closest and, and quickest option. So we also have it mobile. And so in this case here, it's the same intercept, but when you're looking at a product, again, whatever site you're on, we search what you're looking for and we find those products locally. Now, bubbles are bubbles that don't spill. So that's uh, just in case you're rich, <laughs> but that's the option for that. And then of course we have the local search available as well. So if you're just looking for sea sponges, you just put it in and then the local option comes up. Once you click on that, it takes you right to the local store. And so we think this is the best way to drive traffic away. And we also try to find similar products. So I'm just going to escape out of the presentation for a second. You probably see another scheme or screen, but let me just bring up a, uh, a list here. It's another, let's bring this over here. So we, were just, we just launched in Sudbury uh, last week, for instance. And so to give you an example, so here's Amazon here. We're on the page. We're looking at a Patagonia shirt. Uh, we click on this and we find the same uh, Patagonia um, you know, options at the store. And this looks like the same jacket here. Um, and so if I want to do Sudbury, for instance, I'm in North Bay now, so it's defaulting to the North Bay. But if I want to do Sudbury, Ontario, I would just... Uh, change it to Sudbury, Ontario. Maybe I can oh. just do oh, I have to change it to my, um, yeah, it's defaulting to my location. But so you, you get the options. And so no matter what it is, if it's if it's uh, dog food or whatever, we will give you that same option in North Bay. And in many cases, what we found is um, the local option, in many cases compared to Amazon or anybody else, um, is, is pretty good. So in this case here, we're on Patagonia's site, and we are, again, we'll look through this site and try to find you uh, a matching shirt. Whether it's Patagonia, uh, you know, whatever it is, we try to find that same thing that we here. In this case, it's at Lafayette. So, so again, no matter what site you're on, Patagonia, for instance, is a good example. A lot of times they're, they're the supplier of the brand, but they also compete against their stores. So Romaco is in, in Sudbury, for instance, they compete against Patagonia. The Thames in North Bay compete against Patagonia because they both uh, use the same, uh, they both sell that gear. So it doesn't matter what site you're on, what you're looking for, we try to match it. And we try to, in this case, uh, briefs are, uh, are showing up. In Sudbury, we have a kid's store that matches. That's why I was using that one. And no matter what you're looking for, we try to find a match. And so that's how we work. Um, and, um, and and that's what we're doing. We do it both on here, or if you just want to search, you can just go to app 
dot one red maple dot com and you can put in whatever you want if you're searching for like a lawn rake put it in and then we show you all the lawn rakes in a certain area and then whatever one you want you click on it you go to that store and you can you can buy that lawn rake and so really simple way to uh, save people time because they don't really need to drive around looking for a, a product where they can just search and see if they have it so we've got all of North Bay and, and all of Sudbury now in, in the system and we're moving, uh, our plan is to move across Ontario. So I'm just going to stop the, the, the sh um, sharing there and I'll restart the presentation. Um, let's go finish it off here. So if we can't find the exact match, match we'll find some other matches. Um, one of our challenges right now is that um, in in uh, in North Bay, for instance, there's some some categories we're missing. Uh, like we don't have a, a men's clothing store that's online that's independently owned local, um, and so there you know there's some areas some categories we might be missing. So we might not find a good match for you. But as we bring on more and more cities, uh, we'll bring on you know the capability to match would be be greater. And so that's one of the reasons we we started to move to Sudbury, and our next city will be Kingston. Um, so how do we do this? Um, we look at what you're looking at on the screen. We so also look at... Mark, you're not shared. Oh, I'm not shared yet? Sorry. No. Uh, I thought I was. Okay, let me share that again. So how do we do this? We look at what you're looking at on the screen. We try to figure out, is there a, you know, a product similar? So we look at the image. We try to match on image. And we also try to match on language. And so if we get a reasonably close match... Uh, we will show you that product. And so in some cases, there'll be exact matches. Some products are easier, like a board game, for instance, because we have a, a unique name where a, a baby jumper may not be as descriptive. So it's harder to get an exact match, but we'll offer you similar products. So, you know, if it's a red or a blue or an orange jumper, you may not care. You're just looking for a baby jumper of a certain type. And so that it certainly helps you with your search. And so, for instance, uh, we have the concept of bubbles. So everybody that um, we have in terms of inventory are inside the bubble. So here's some North Bay stores, and then here's some outside the bubble stores. And so these are the stores that if you're on Mattel site, for instance, or you're on Nike site, we start to look at what you're looking at in terms of shopping, and then we try to match that on our, on our product as well. So the great thing about this is it's free both for the consumers and the retailers. There is some additional services the retailers can purchase to, to, to um, in, further enhance their services, but we scrape all the independent stores. So independent to us means independently owned store or franchise, because that's the best way to keep money in your local economy, because those people you know reinvest in their economy, they sponsor teams, they sponsor the art center, whatever it might be, they get involved. Um, and, and corporately owned stores are where the money leaves town, where the profits of the business leave town. <clears throat> and so for retailers, we have a very strong account management system. Uh, we provide, uh, right now we go in and we will provide advice on search engine optimization, how they can work with us. And we, we, um, we can access the CDAP grant, which is a Canadian digital adoption program grant for each retailer. So for $2,400, um, we charge them. It's basically free because they get a grant to cover it. Um, we can connect directly to their systems. And when we connect directly to their systems, we can do things like price matching. Uh, so we can start to look at what the price is on Amazon. And if, if this retailer says, I'll meet anything on Amazon within 20%, we automatically lower the price to match Amazon. And so we can be further competitive against all the different uh, retailers out there. So what we really are and do is we're the marketing engine that small independent retailers are, are kind of lacking. A lot of times they'll get their uh, inventory online, which is a huge accomplishment for them. But then it's now what? How do I, how do I get people to my website? Um, you know, they have to be experts at social media. They have to take their own photography, do their own videos, posts, et cetera. What we do is we just drive traffic there. If people are searching for games in North Bay or toys in North Bay, they're going to be sent to creative learning. 
you know, they're searching for clothing and be sent somewhere else. And so we just start to drive traffic to those sites. And so, um, you know, really what we're talking about is really what we're trying to do is revive and revitalize, you know, downtowns across across North America and the world um, to really be vibrant um, and, and not hollowed out in terms of both uh, the retailers that are there and, and the environment. So we want to see, you know, that come back to life. And so really, uh, if we can start with the current uh, retailers, boost their revenue, boost their profits, then the snowball starts to begin to happen. And I kind of live by this philosophy, if not us, then who, and if not now, then when, and, and here I am doing this, um, not getting paid a cent for this. Uh, <laughs> this is a passion of mine, both me and my wife, uh, we probably should be retired at this point, uh, but this is our retirement plan is to, is to help um, change, change the dynamic in terms of the retail space around the world. We do know that there's there's a huge potential for this in terms of uh, what we're doing and where we're going, both as a social movement and, and as a revenue source. So all you have to do to help us is download the app and, and use it. And, and, and the more you use it, uh, the more sales will go local and we start to, uh, to start the snowball going down the hill. And so I always use this slide as my last slide and I make a promise that um, I won't spend any money on the corporation trying to leave planet Earth um, and that, um, you know, we will save our resources to better planet Earth and change uh, and be a, a corporation that is, you know, involved in, in making the planet a better place. And so essentially that's my presentation. I guess I'll throw it back to, uh, to Mac for questions. Mac, are you there? Maybe. Yeah, I'm just trying to reclaim the host. Okay, maybe I'll make you, maybe I have to do that. Uh, there, are, I'm done. I'm now the host again. Okay. Perfect. Okay, uh, so now, okay. So how would, um, how do you plan on expanding this um, to the balance of Ontario? And more importantly to that, how do you expand this to, uh, smaller and rural communities of Northern Ontario. Yeah, I mean, I think essentially what, what's going to happen for the next little while, um, we're just trying to pick some different markets around Ontario to understand um, the behavior of, of, of both the retailers and the consumers. Um, and, and we have to find the sweet spot. You know, we, we, we've talked to a lot of people uh, in focus groups that say, yeah, we, we support local, we love local. But then when it comes to actually doing it, you know, sometimes the, the reality is a little different there. And so uh, we're trying to understand from the consumer point of view, what things do we need to have in the app so that the consumers embrace it and use it? And then, of course, what things we need to have in the app for the retailers to embrace and use it. We think the retailers is an easier sell because um, they get what we're doing. They get what we're trying to do. You know, they've been going up against these giants forever and slowly getting picked off in different categories. Um, but um, the consumers, in my mind, is the one that is going to make or break the success of this project. So, Mark, there was a question from Roger. I can't, I could find one red maple on the Google Store, but not on the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft App Store. Yeah, it's not available on Microsoft, it's available on Apple. So, for your mobile devices, it's generally it's an Android based system or it's an Apple based system. And so um, you can do that. And then if you're on your desktop, I'll just show you here. Can you see my screen still? Uh, no, I'll uh, give you back control. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're now the host again, Mark. All right. So I'm just going to share. Uh, Screen three it is, got a few screens. So if you go to, if you just Google, if you go to One Red Maple, for instance, you can just go there, um, dot com. So you can, you can go um, and get your extension. So it's available as an extension. And so you can say, download it now. And depending on the device you're on, it's gonna take you to the right place. So in this case, it's taking two extensions. So this is called, this is the extension here. 
that when you're on uh, a Google page, for instance, and we put in a five second rule, for instance, oops, let me go back up there. I don't think I clicked in the box. Five second rule, and we type that in game, <clears throat> and we pick the game. Right. So this is the extension that pops out. And it's um, the extension is um, just taking a second here. The extension is um, it's there all the time in the background, kind of running. And um, when it pops out, you just click on it and you get to see Now, creative and learning must have a problem right now because I don't see images, but you can still see the creative uh, learnings uh, inventory. Um, so it doesn't matter what you're searching for. You know, I went back and I can you know, use that example of a rake again. And we, we've already done, um, you know, the work for, for people to, to, to look at what stores are local, um, all that stuff in the matching. So this is called the extension and this is only available through um, the, the Chrome web store, uh, through the Firefox web store, through um, it's, uh, Safari, Opera, and uh, Mozilla, I think, those, those five browsers. So this is a little different uh, thing. Um, and then, um, so yeah, so that's the, I hope that answers the question. Yeah, well, uh, Roger has uh, found it uh, through the extension and okay. downloaded it directly from your website. So uh, he thanks you for that. And, now you'll um, need to pick North Bay or Sudbury as, a, as your demo site if you're not in North Bay or Sudbury, because um, it tries to use um, where you are to figure out what products it should look at. And so if you're in a, in a city like Timmins, for instance, right now, we're not there. So you'd have to pick one of those two cities as your default city to test it out. Okay. Oh, there's another question. Um, uh, reminds me of a similar price comparison extension used as Honey, except it explicitly local uh, local focused. Great initiative. Yeah, we, we looked at Honey um, initially. Uh, really interesting story. Uh, Honey in seven years uh, went to 100 million in sales, and then PayPal bought them. Uh, eBay bought them out, or PayPal bought them out for four billion dollars. Um, but what Honey is is Honey is, um, they basically, when they first started, look at the coupons. So they, they'd look at whatever you're looking on Amazon, for instance. Okay, uh, I'll Amazon. make you back to host. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. It's okay. Um, so they, 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 they I'll just explain. Um, no, no, here you go, you're the host again. Okay, when you're on Amazon. Um, so share your screen. Yeah, I will do that. So when you're on Amazon here, Instead of one or maple popping out, honey, if you're on your shopping cart, honey would pop out. So if I put this in my shopping cart here, if I added that to my cart, and I went to my cart, right? Um, oh, I didn't put, I didn't put it in my cart. If I put it in my cart, what, what honey would do is it would look at this product and then try to see if there's a, a discount somewhere for that product. Is there a discount code or whatever? And it would serve up that code and hopefully save you some money at the checkout stage. I've used, I downloaded Honey and I tried to use it for a long time. I don't think I ever had to successfully find me a, a product code to save me money, but um, it's still successful and it's still out there. Um, we think we've got way more potential than Honey because what we're doing is not just uh, saving you money based on a code, but we're looking at all products. So eventually, you know, we will have more products than Amazon because of the number of independent retailers we'll have in here. And at that point, there's a whole bunch of interesting things we can do. Um, for instance, if, if, if we get all the toy industry across uh, North America, you know, in our in here and signed up, we can create a common buying group for all toy companies or all independent toy stores. And then we can start to drive their cost of acquisition of toys down and we can further compete against, you know, the Walmarts of the world. And so uh, there's so many ways that, that we can help retailers. Um, one of the other things we do too is, you know, what are people searching for? Um, so if, people, if a lot of people are searching for rakes <laughs> because it's the fall, um, you know, maybe Laporte's would, would put a, a, sell, a sale on, on rakes 
or have a special on rigs that we can then um, do push notifications to, to say, hey, Mac, I saw you last week looking for a rake. Laporte has this one on sale right now. You might want to go down and buy it. Um, so those types of things that we can do for retailers. So there's there's a whole host of things that are coming down the pipe. Uh, you know, we can only do so many so many things at a t at once, but these are things that we're planning. Okay, I am going to uh, I'm going to take back the host. Okay. Are, and let's see if there's any other questions. So uh, I don't see one right now, but um, what is the kilometer range? So if I'm sitting in North Bay and um, is, is it 100 kilometers or will I get to see what's available for me in Sudbury presently? We, 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 right now we would sit at 100 kilometers, but we're going to expand that um, to probably about 500 kilometers. Um, and, and the reason for that is just that, is that we know North Bay doesn't have all those stores, but Sudbury might. And so um, if you're looking for something that's unique to, uh, to a store in Sudbury, we'd rather give that, those dollars to a Sudbury store uh, than give them to a corporate store. And so the rationale behind that is that, it, you know, uh, it lifts all boats. And so, um, and so, yeah, so, so you can have potentially some really unique stores that would service Northern Ontario um, that we wouldn't get before because they're just trying to service one market in Northern Ontario and there's not enough people. And so if you have something that says, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a line of uh, surfboards, you know, for, for, for wake surfing behind a boat. Well, there's a very limited market in Northern Ontario for that, especially if you just pick off one city at a time. But if we said, okay, it's Northern Ontario plus Bracebridge, uh, Muskoka area, maybe there's now enough of a market that you are the, you know, the, the business to go to, whether it's online or in person for, for that one product. And so it allows, you know, it allows those retailers to broaden what they carry as well, because the orders can also come from out of town. Okay. Now, uh, again, um, I think this, I like this. I have it on all of my devices. Um, um, haven't purchased anything yet because I don't I necessarily uh, purchase that much online. I go to the store locally. Um, but with Christmas going on, coming on, I think if you expand to, to 500 kilometers, I think uh, before Christmas, as people start to start shop for Christmas and they have this app, you might get people from Timmins and, and the Sioux looking at it and the smaller communities in between. Um, the network communities in between that the fact is, is that they might get, uh, uh, they might, uh, as people start to use it, buy products in, from stores in Northern Ontario, it, it, as you say, keep the, keep the economy and keep the, the funds here. I think it's, uh, uh, it, it's a great initiative. I uh, did not realize that you and your wife weren't making any money at this. <laughs> uh, I, I thought that you'd be taking a percentage off of both ends and, and, but uh, you're not doing that. So that's uh, very, uh, uh, very nice of the two of you to do that. That uh, I wasn't aware of that until uh, until you mentioned that a, a few moments ago. So yeah, that's we, we decided uh, for the initial investors and the initial round that that we would not get paid. We have we have shares, of course, but um, only only if this takes off and goes into the next level, which we believe it will, uh, which would be successive rounds of financing. Um, that uh, at that point maybe, but uh, but yeah, that was our commitment to the shareholders for for the initial go. Oh, no, very nice. Uh, so uh, I want to thank you for taking the time this morning uh, and filling us in about an, uh, an e-commerce platform that was created in Northern Ontario uh, that's benefiting local uh, businesses in Northern Ontario. And, and I, I can see that this is uh, going to be something that uh, uh, I'll use and that I encourage will encourage everybody else to consider and that it's going to benefit the, uh, the ecosystem of Northern Ontario uh, by shopping shopping locally, as opposed to uh, uh, some company that uh, ha makes no commitment to our community. So I, I really do appreciate you guys thinking about this and, and uh, spending your time and energy focusing on this kind of initiative. Yeah, there's one thing we're gonna, we're gonna try to do over the long term, and this is a long term thing, is also tell you where your goods are coming from. Uh, so, you know, where is that rate coming from? What's the origin of that rate? Uh, is it a Canadian company that made the rake? Uh, is it a Chinese company that made the rake? 
uh, you know, where is it coming from? So, so that we have also that level of transparency as well. That's a huge undertaking. Um, you know, just in North Bay alone, for instance, we have a million products. Um, and so just an understanding that it will take time, but that's, that's in our, in our plan as well to, to drive money back to our local economy and, and, and to local retailers. Well, thanks very much, Mark, for your time again uh, and, and your energies. Um, I want to thank everybody for participating today, uh, taking the time out of their morning to uh, maybe learn uh, about uh, the initiatives that are being uh, undertaken in Northern Ontario uh, by, uh, by experts and, and that are in the field working on behalf of our communities every day uh, by uh, David and Michael uh, and, and Emily creating a program that's going to educate um, our, our communities and, and the people that uh, will be shaping our community's economic uh, opportunities in the future. And Mark and his team for uh, presenting uh, a program that uh, I hope will uh, benefit our communities and, and uh, have more money stay in Northern Ontario so that it, uh, we can all share the wealth. So uh, th thank everyone for taking uh, time out of their very important days uh, to learn. All of these sessions will be uploaded to the Phnom uh, YouTube site, hopefully uh, by this evening, if not by tomorrow at some point. And, uh, uh, and you're more than well, welcome to share them with anyone in your community, anyone within your district or, or friends and neighbors, uh, just so that they have an opportunity to also uh, see what Northern Ontario has to offer. Thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you.